Welcome everybody. It's Marvel Friday and we're home base games and we're ready for some champions. Mm -hmm. We're going to escape the collector. <laughs> yeah. Escape his deadly museum. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, maybe, uh, maybe we could steal something on the way out. <laughs> Sounds like something Rocket and or Star-Lord would say. So I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> So he doesn't we're... need that leg, right? <laughs> or that mechanical eye or whatever the heck. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So we are going to go against the Collector version two, if you haven't caught on, the Escape the Museum set. Yeah. I think we lost when we did the last live stream on this one, right? We did. Okay. Um, but the recording, and I apologize that last week it's for lost. some reason, the, yeah, the recording was just got all corrupted, so we don't have that available, but... Which is why we're doing it again. Yeah, well, we were gonna do it again anyway, because we lost. Yeah. <laughs> but because we did lose it, I will go through the beginning of Escape the Museum. So, things didn't go as planned. As planned. The good, you broke into the Collector's Museum, you beat the Collector, you know the Power Stone was here. The bad, an alarm went off as soon as you arrived, alerting the Collector to your presence. After you beat the Collector, he used his Elder God magic to trap you in his collection. Also, someone seems to have stolen the Power Stone. Kind of a mixed bag here. On the bright side, whoever took the Power Stone cut the museum's power as a distraction, giving you enough time to get out of captivity. Maybe, just maybe, you can leverage this luck and escape the museum before the Collector realizes what's going on. So we, as part of our setup, have the missing Milano side scheme that we start off with. Ooh, and that, for some reason, really. It's always interesting. You log in and nothing's changed on your computer, but all of your settings have changed. A really great way to start your, start your stream. Apologies. All right, so the missing Milano essentially just gives us the uh, setup conditions for the encounter deck, which we've already got going, and tells us to put the library labyrinth environment into play, which will stay in play and allows us to deal yourself one encounter card uh, face down, obviously, and remove five threat from the main scheme limit once per round per play. Zero action. That's gonna hang out over here. And then the reverse side of this scheme is just the conditions for being able to uh, advance the game. So if you're not familiar, the collector, the way he works almost a little bit backwards. So each of his schemes start out with a whole bunch of threat. You can see that this is gonna start with seven threat per player. So they start out with a whole bunch of threat and the players have to remove all of the threat in order to advance. Yeah. We don't advance until we actually remove all of the threat. Yeah, and, and, and uh, one thing that we learned strategy-wise is that the collector is obviously, he is double-sided. Mm -hmm. um, this is his main side. When he takes enough damage to be defeated, you actually just flip him over. Mm -hmm. And he is a little bit weaker, zero and zero. Yeah. And, and when he's defeated, there's a, a trigger response where you actually get to move threat off of the main scheme. Three per person. Three per person. So, yeah, which is actually is at the bottom of this part here is a force interrupt. When you deal him enough damage that he would flip um, to his next side, because typically that's the way you're advancing the villain is by dealing him enough damage to get him to side two, side three. We're doing that by removing threat from the main instead. So when he flips, we remove a bunch of threat He's a little bit weaker for that villain's activation round. And then at the end of that round, he regenerates his health fully and he flips back and is back to uh, eight health per player. So we've got him all ready to go here. Yeah, so basically what I was saying was that it, it's definitely, we noticed after just playing it one time, that you're, you're definitely encouraged to damage to him, him and yeah. flip him. Mm -hmm, I agree. The campaign task that we're going to be playing with is there is no escape. So that will be part of our victory uh, points if we can defeat that. It has Tinder 3 plus 4, so it's going to have 7. 
And okay. it's really just going to hang out here. And I'll just show real quick uh, how we've spent our units so far. Mm -hmm. So the first unit card I bought was Brainwash, which is a uh, zero brainstorm. brainstorm, which is zero cost uh, thwart, which works nicely with Rocket because he can use salvage to set the deck. So you can like guarantee get that off. And worst case scenario, it's a cantrip, meaning mm -hmm. it replaces itself. It's a card for zero that replaces itself. Yep. Um, the next thing I bought was Calculate the Odds, which if I had to spend units again, I don't know if I would buy this card. It has not been as good as I thought it would be, where it's essentially I get to draw a card for zero. Right. Then it replaces itself. I actually draw a card. No, it doesn't even draw a card, then choose a player. That player may draw a card and then choose a discard a card. So, yeah. yes, it's just a cantrip. It's just a straight I replace... I yeah, you replace this card, card with another card. Yeah. And then... Um, I have the ability to cycle, essentially. It's often happened where it has not been... Beneficial. Many times very yeah. beneficial. It, the best part about it many times has actually been the wild. Yeah, that's so fair. Which I, all I, of these cards are wild. I so. probably would not spend two units on this card again. Yeah. And and it's yeah. really odd because zero to draw a card cantrip to me seems really good. Right. But I felt like there were more impactful cards in the pool that I could have spent this two Yeah, weeks. and it's also possible that in a larger campaign, like with more players, that would be more useful. Well, it's, it's just in a two-player, because you your effect is draw the card. My effect is draw a discard. Yeah. And if I'm going second, or if I'm... or Well, I guess technically it is a hero action, so you could play it on my turn yeah. if that... But, um, a lot of times it was never, it was not beneficial for me to draw discard. A lot of times your hand was like already figured out and mm -hmm. you're like, we're going to do this thing and, yeah. and, and looting was just not, yeah. a loot effect was not that impactful. Correct. Um, take the flight, fight to them. I've been happy with this choice because Rocket and Groot, neither of them have cancel effects in mm -hmm. either of their decks. This gives you a chance to hit some of those cards from the villain deck and get rid of them so like you know manipulate the deck so you don't draw shadows mm -hmm. so this card I, i'm a big fan i would i would definitely spend units on this card again and then the last card i have and that's the one i'm just getting for from the last scenario is heavy cannon which so far i like I, I, it's helpful a group to be able to put a rocket to be able to like do damage to a bunch of minions mm -hmm. and um, guarantee to get that uh, overkill, overkill, da yeah. overkill damage, Agreed. so you can trigger his murder ability. Mm -hmm. So that's my four. All right, my four. We started with. I think we started with in defiance. We started with whatever, which was one unit. Oh uh, yeah, that's that one. Started with in defiance, which uh, essentially is a defensive card. When I would take damage, I could prevent two damage. Card. Which we have learned. It doesn't say defense on it. Uh, it's it's a good card. It is a little disappointing from the stance. It's a hero interrupt. Yeah. And so I believe, unfortunately, because it's a hero interrupt, that card will not prevent you from losing... Um, group counters? Group counters. Because forced interrupt happens before regular interrupts mm, okay. and i and i believe even the new fact will clarify that so when i originally purchased because i was the one that kind of decided what we would buy mm -hmm. for the most part because i'm pretty good at evaluating the cards versus patronus yeah. um i was thinking the reason to get this card would be like oh, to preserve to preserve groot's counters but yeah. so this one is probably even though it's been handy every now and then i think we were playing it wrong yeah we might have. and um so timing priority is constant abilities forced interrupt abilities then interrupt abilities then forced responsibilities right. then responsibilities. right so this so, yeah. is a forced interrupt yes so that would happen before this hero interrupt so meaning if there was any excess damage, Groot would have to use the tokens to prevent the excess, mm -hmm. then this card. So this card is... That's dead, essentially. Pretty, unless I have, have no counters. Unless you have no counters, it's a yeah. pretty moot okay. card. Okay, fair enough. So that's so, if we haven't played it that way, we will for sure going forward. But so, we would not choose that again if someone's playing Groot. 
Yes. You know, what just we, because of that. What we could do actually, which is probably better, and I don't think there's any anything. I don't think there's any rules to this. I think we can swap which cards are in our decks from the market, right? I don't know. Let's check. I don't think it matters. Nope. You. Yep. Cards added to the player's deck this way must be included in that player's deck for the rest of the campaign. So you can't swap. Can't swap. All right. So we made a bad decision. We're sticking with it. Yep. Pretty right. much. <laughs> so what I would say next time is if you're looking to buy... This is a good card. This is probably better for Rocket Agreed. than it is for Group because yeah. of the not knowing the rules about mm -hmm. the interactions. Yep. All right. We also purchased Contingency Plan. Discard the top four cards of your deck for each different resource type discarded this way. Deal one damage to an enemy and draw a card. That's been great. It's just been free damage. and it's For Groot, it's been good because yeah. he's actually quite balanced, balanced yeah. with his resource caught, with his resource symbols and his deck. Yep. Then the latest ones we've purchased have been Creative Solution. That card is nuts. Yeah. It's it's, so good. If, it, if you get it off, it's fantastic because um, you can remove a status condition and do a thing. And get an effect. Right. Uh, we, I don't think we've ever had a card time where we've drawn that card and it's been just bad. Um, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I just if, draw a different card. Right, or use it as a wild resource. Or use but it as a wild. It's yeah. been, every time we've you've played that, I've been like, oh man, that's so good. Yeah. And then we did Sure Gamble. Yep. Which, which uh, if you're a Magic player, is essentially a Black Lotus. <laughs> yeah, basically, it just gives you three resources just for zero. Just gives you three re free resources, exactly. Which, it's been, it's awesome for group because he's got... Um, a bunch of he's got two I am Groots that cost three. Mm -hmm. We're playing Nick Fury. We're playing Helicarrier. We're playing Mansion. Mansion yeah. So there's like I mean there's times when you just like first turn gamble get a Mansion out and your turn's not done because you could still exhaust that else. Mansion and play the other two or three cards in your yeah, hand. Yeah, for sure. That's that's pretty sweet. Yep. All right. So um, as far as any other campaign related instructions. Uh, the Badoon Head Hunter is in the deck as well as Dead to Rights is in the deck because we beat the Badoon Head Hunter in the first uh, mission. Okay. So that is in here. And that's it. I think that's it. And we're all set up here. So we yep, can just go. We're all go. set up. We can. Um, uh, I guess I'll go, go first on. and I'll start my mulligan process here. Yeah, I'm Ooh. just shuffling my market cards into my deck really quick. Okay. All right. Well, I like my hand, so I don't know if I will mulligan much here. Not a bad thing. Um, I mean, get, I love getting Hall of Heroes on the first turn just to have it out the whole game. Yeah. Having a Helicary on the first turn is always nice. Getting my Fertile Ground on the first turn is awesome. Getting a Deft Focus on the first turn can be helpful. Yeah. My Fruition is nice. Uh, um, like right now, there's no right now there's no minions in play, so I'm not inclined to hold Spider Girl into the fray. I'm not inclined to hold either of them. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna keep my I am Groot or we are Groot because that's not. Mulligan doesn't really make a ton of sense though, because like, what am I hoping to get? Like a double resource, but then I'm just holding a card. Yeah. So. My only question is whether to play a particle cannon, so like I'm ready if minions come out next turn, or to play a helicarrier and actually just start with resource ramp on the first turn. It's a tough decision. Can you use the resource if I got this helicarrier? Would that be helpful to you? Because um... that, would, that would help my decision making process. Well, I guess do we do mulligan simultaneously, or I'm not mulliganing. So I okay. I'm my, you're my not hand's mulliganing. Good. Period. Okay, yes. so then I'm that's... just deciding what card I'm going to play on my turn. Got it. Okay, so if I did this to play this, which will net me another card, then we could use this to play this. Fruition, and then I can use the resource to play. No, you can't use the resource. I can't. Use that. I guess I could. You could just. I could instead of discarding this, I could discard this to this. Yes. Because I don't have yellows anyway, and then that a card, and I could use this to play this, use this to play this, play my fruition, and then yeah. So a helicarrier isn't going to help me. All right. Most likely. Uh, I think unless I, just, I draw a double. I think I'm going to still card. play it in case something happens. Good. I'm going to pitch the particle cannon and Sparta girl into the fray. 
I'm going to play this, and I'm just playing this. So that's my turn. And I'm flipping up. I'm going to thwart for two. And then I am simply going to just pass the turn and let you have access to my helicarrier. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just use your helicarrier to play this. Go and for then it. not even, because maybe I can get a yellow or something. Yeah. So we'll do this. Draw a card. Root stop. Not and a growth counter. Exciting. And then we'll do my action. So you say, do I just want to put a three on there right off the bat? That's yeah, fine. I'm removing them most likely, so just keep them in low numbers. All right, so we're good here. We'll flip over. We will... So I could... I say get the death focus in play for sure. 100%. I'm toss just thinking... Toss the root stomp or toss... Well, I'm thinking I could... You're not going to play the root stomp, so why not just toss it? I mean, I could is the point. But why? Why play Does it? Does it deal five damage? Mm -hmm. Up to you. I mean, I don't know, I'm probably some... not going to be using my vines anytime soon, to be honest. Um, I guess I can get two more counters. Yep. Because I'm silly. Um, because if I use this to play this, I can use this and this to play the root stomp and just hold on to Mockingbird. Or I could. You could ditch the root stomp. Just get this in play and hold on to these cards. Or you could just ditch the power, or ditch the mockingbird. I don't know. What does that vine do? Warning. That is the most useful of them. Yeah. So I. Uh, so I, I, I just... say it's up to you. I don't think it's, it is nice to be able to just def focus and put it into play. Yeah. And I guess I can just. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with holding these. on to them. And. Considering I threw away an ally. Yeah. Um, the question is. I probably just attack punch him. still, yeah. Yes. Just attack him for two. They said you, we'd suss if you punch him, you mm -hmm. can. Yep. All right. Ready up. A little bit. I'm glad right. I discarded my uh, particle canning because I just threw a rocket launcher as well, so I'm not going to play all that stuff. Okay. All right. So first things first is threat. Mm -hmm. so you get two. Yep. Then, is there any other responses that forced interrupt if the last threat was... Nope. Okay. So there's nothing after the villain stage, right? Nope. This is just take an extra encounter card to remove five threat? Correct. Okay. So he's attacking me. Yep. And he's one plus... He gets plus one to each of his stats for every phase. So he's two. Level. Two base. So he's base two. And flip a card. Yep. I'm not blocking. Okay. Uh, okay. That guy. So, so this guy comes out. So it's, it's a, a boost... Which just puts him into play. Correct. But he doesn't uh, contribute. So I'm taking two from the boss and then. Two from that guy. Then he'll attack me. I'll take two. So I'll take four. Yep. Correct. Then he's attacking me. And I think I probably want to defend, defend it. Reserve your counters. So especially since I have a thwarting I am Groot in my hand, I could just thwart for five yeah. potentially. Yeah. It's not. You know, five for three is not the worst ratio. Um, all right, so base two. And the jerk tiger short guy. That is so rude. So he's going to hit me twice. Oh, no. He doesn't come into... Oh, thank God. Okay, so he just deals a damage to each character I control flat out. So that's what his boost thing is. I was thinking he was going to come into play with me. But that's only the, the good guys. So his boost effect is deal one damage to each character I control. Right. And then he's going to hit me for two, but I defend for three. Oh, um, oh, okay. So you just lost one counter. I just lose one counter. And it stinks because you have that defense card, which can't, can't use. do it. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. a big mistake. Yeah, that's okay. We learn. All right, bad cards. Mm -hmm. Bad, bad. All right. 
Caught off guard. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Brutal. I yeah. hate that card. There's nothing I can do about it. So it's Hall of Heroes or Caught Off Guard. I mean, I guess it's Hall of Heroes. There's no tokens on it, so sad times. Okay. All right, mine. Oh, is the ghost guy. I get confused. Yep, where are all the confused? They're in the box. Here's one of each to keep by you. Okay. That's annoying when I was going to thwart and I'm tapped. I have two thwarting cards in my hand. Well, That's sad. Yeah. You might, yeah. I mean, yep. there's nothing I can do you about it. You might be it. using one of the thwarting cards just to... Remove. Get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Might be the case. Okay. That's everything. Mm-hmm. All right, so my turn. Well, no, pass. My turn. Oh, your turn. Yeah. So, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have you call for an action. I'm going to play Calculate the Odds. Okay. I'm going to draw a card, and then you can draw and discard. Does that count as a thwart? No. We have a threat. All right. Mm-hmm. All righty. So I guess we're just going to... Do it for justice to clear my confusion. Brutal. Yeah. And then we'll do one, two, three. For, for Mockingbird? I'm... No, right. I can't. I can't I, I... afford it. Oh, play Mockingbird instead of the I am group for four. It's, yeah, I am group for three for four doesn't seem worth it. That's I'd fine. I can really, play Mockingbird instead. I'd rather instead. play Mockingbird. Okay, that's fine. So we'll stun him. Yep. That's all I got. Uh, you oh, can, I guess she can do a thing. Yeah. Uh, you want her to attack or thwart? Attack. One? Sure. Okay. That's it? Yep. All right, my turn. So I'm going to... I'm going to play Salvage to play Relentless Assault. I'm going to put my particle cannon on top of my deck. We're going to deal five to this psionic ghost, which will overkill one damage to the boss, allowing me to draw my particle cannon. Then... Here's the question. Do I play a cannon here? Or? I think I play a cannon here. All right, so I'm going to discard. I've got a plan. Rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. And my cybernetic skeleton. To play... Particle Cannon it has two counters on it. I'm going to just use one right away to deal four damage to the Psionic Ghost. All right. No and overkill. I, I won't draw a card, but I couldn't yeah. use the card I drew anyway, so yeah. it just kills the guy, though. Yeah, that's helpful. Um, and then I'm going to thwart for two. All right. Which is pretty much just the status quo. And I'm at five. So the question is, do I flip? I don't think so. I just wait one more turn. Okay. Draw on five. 40. So, first things first is threat. So, we're going back to two on. Mm -hmm. 
then the villain will be um, attacking you, but he's Correct. stunned. Yep. So now the villain's attacking me, and I'm at... You're at five. I mean, I can let Mockingbird take it. Right. Um, she's um, not going to represent a So his a base ton. is two. Yep. So if he drew a three, I would die. Yes. So the question is, do I want to... Do I want to defend and go to one? That sounds... Nah. I think we just let Mocking... We give up the one damage from Mockingbird. I think that's fine. And if I have to defend on, the, on, a, on a combat card, I will. Sad. So it is a total of three damage. Mm -hmm. Kills Mockingbird. Correct. And then encounter curse. All right. Impossible Geometry. Site one. Okay. And then if you are confused, I'm sorry, you are confused. If you're already confused, I get confused again. Yeah. Man, nasty for me. Yeah, he just does a lot of confusing. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Um, all right, I got the shark, which has quick strike. So he's going to hit me for three damage yep. indirect, which, all right, is what it is. Okay. Yeah. It's not the worst, though. So mm -hmm. you're up. No, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to discard Schadenfreude. Discard Chase. Actually, no. We're going to do this first. We're going to play Brainstorm. Um, we'll say Event. Nope. It's not an event. Um, it's Ironheart. <laughs> yeah, so name a card. Look at the top card of your deck. If that card is the named card, remove three threat from the main scheme. It is not. Um, so that's going to go away. This is going to then tell me to draw a card, which I will. And then I'm going to discard Ironheart, Shade and Freud, and chase them down to play Spider Man, Miles Morales. Okay. Give him plus two attack sure. to attack for four. Nice. So we'll do four to the shark. Then we're going to exhaust my particle cannon. Thank you. Move this counter and deal four damage to the shark with overkill. So one damage to the boss. Shark will die. Draw a card. I will draw a card. Damage. Oh. Yeah, it's just one, so it's not worth it. So I'm just going to discard Moment of Triumph to play downtime. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to flip. Yeah. Before you flip, oh, I'm gonna do you want to yes. do this? Yes. Before I flip, I'm going to use this action to take an additional encounter card. Yep. Then and I'm then you can remove five threat. To the main. Perfect. Yep. And then I'm going to flip down. Kill five. And I'm going to recover five. Yep. Two, four, five. I think downtime is pretty essential on Rocket Raccoon. Yeah. And then you still have a hello carrier. All right. So I'm going to do... A sure gamble into an Agent Coulson. Nice. Which seems nice. Yeah, because it's actually going to get you a resource it's gonna back. going to net me a card <laughs> back, yeah. So cool. I'm going to go get uh, Counterintelligence is the prep card that we have in this deck for that purpose. Then I suppose I could, I could just play JJ. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, and hold on to that for justice and use your helicarrier. Or hold on to the counterintelligence. Like, I can hold on to one of those. Doesn't use matter. Use your no. helicarrier. You could definitely use my helicarrier for something and then hold on to a card. If you were going to hold on to a card, I'd probably hold on to... For justice. For justice. Yeah. It's I, the best ratio. I agree. It's two to remove four, potentially. Yeah, so we'll discard these two and you use your helicarrier to play JJ. Yep. Colson's going to thwart for two. Mm -hmm. 
one. And then JJ can attack for two or thwart for two? Launch for two. Okay. And holding on to that for justice. And that's it. Okay. Oh, I guess I could... Remove your confuse. Remove my confuse. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not the worst idea. Not the worst. If you want right. to play that for justice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One, two, All right. three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Looking for trouble. Chase them down. Reload. Valkyrie. Battery pack and reload. Oh, okay. Reload it up. Yeah, well, I'm going to tinker this <laughs> thing away, though, I think. So we'll see if it's worth it. We'll see. Yep. It depends on my turn. Yep. Okay, so first thing is threat. Drop two back on there. Two. Then he's scheming against you, base two. Mm-hmm. Uh, say on a ghost guy. Okay. So he gets put into play with you. Uh, so this is just two. So scheming for two. So and we're then gonna, he schemes for two. So it's going to be a total of five. A total of four. Four. So. Then he's attacking me. And... Do I want to defend it? Or do I want to... Probably... I don't know if I care about my counters at this point. Yeah. I guess there is another fruition in there. I've gotten I mean, you do almost a... all of my Iron Groots I've already gotten. Yeah. I only have one more attacking one in my deck. You're gonna Groots, you're gonna Root Stomp, which would put you to... Five. Five, and then you could... I don't know if it matters. I don't think it does. I think I'd rather just attack him. Yeah. So I'm just going to base roll it. So base two. Oh, zero. There you go. You lose two counters. Yep. That three with a one. Okay. Okay. And bad card. Bad card. All right. So I got a Bardoon Headhunter. Villainous guy. Yep. So the villainous baddie. The Headhunter. And then I've got Crystal Ball. All right. Which is... Seven threat. All right, well, get wrecked. Uh, so I got that dead to rights thing, which is surge plus exhaust my identity. Get it defended? Yeah. Then my surge card is a servant bot. Okay. All right, I mean, we're still in fine shape. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Pass this over here. Yep. So, with that said, um, I guess I'm going to discard an I am Groot and tap Deft Focus to play Root Stomp on this guy. Kill him. Um, or I could do it towards one of your guys if you want. The only downside is, I mean, this is a, he, he's guard patrol, so I can't play this until yeah, you him. go. But... It doesn't matter to me. Okay. You're not going to have a hard time killing either one of those guys? I'm definitely going to kill at least one, maybe two. So I'm not worried about it. If one lives, I'm not concerned about it. I mean, I, okay. So it's just dealing the five, so I don't know if you want me to do it on your big butt guy. No, I'm not worried about it. Okay. So we can just kill this guy. Counter. Then we will use Power of Justice to for justice for four. Excuse me. Power of Justice to four justice for four. Well, mm -hmm. let's get rid of the accelerator if we can. And she can thwart for three right now. That's there's right. another side scheme in play. Well, and then you get a bonus here. What's my bonus? Um. That player who defeated the scheme may play a card from their hand, reducing its resource cost by three. Can I use your helicarrier? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> seems good. Nick Fury, draw three. Yeah, that seemed awesome. All right, well, we're going to put that in the victory pile. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, um, that was a, a Black Lotus for Nick Fury. Yeah. All right, so then we will fruition for two more counters. Mm-hmm. Then we will do contingency plan. Um, 
So I discard four cards from the top of my deck. For each resource type discarded this way, I deal a damage card. Nice. So one, two, three, four. Oh my god, I All hit four? one of each. Beautiful. Because the wild counts as a different type of resource, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so maybe we just put four on this headhunter then. Whatever you want. Living the dream there. Got one of each. Perfect. Okay. Okay, and draw a card. Yep. Oh, oh I can't do that. Anything about so that. So sad. Yeah. Dang it. Um, oh, it wow. was so, it was so close to just being amazing. It was still pretty um, amazing. Um, all right. Then I guess Colson's gonna sport for two. Yeah. And it is what it is. I guess if you have a way for me to draw a discard now, it's not the worst time. But I don't know. I if don't. You have that. All right. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. So normally, I, I like the temptation to tinker this away to draw two cards would be amazing, but I'm actually just sitting on a battery pack with a reload. So I don't think I'm going to tinker this away. I'm just going to put a counter on here to kill these guys. So <clears throat> um, this is probably going down in the history books as one of the first times that Gold Leader's greed to draw cards did not impact his game. Yeah, enough. you should timestamp it. <laughs> I, like seriously, timestamp the is, video. Gold Leader does not does use not the, use greed to draw extra cards. <laughs> this might be one of the first times that it's ever happened in the history of ever playing games. <laughs> Star Lord's gonna be the death of me. Oh my god, it's gonna be so right. horrible. So I wanted to heal, but I don't know that you need to. You heal what? On two points? Yeah, it's not. Worth yeah, it. I mean, it's not worth exhausting for that. No, I'll just take when I take the next chunk of five. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you'll just flip and do yeah. it then. All right, it's fine. So I'm flipping then, and then yeah, I'm gonna discard a reload to play a battery pack. And it comes with two charge counters. I'm going to exhaust one to throw one here. Yep. Then I'm going to exhaust this guy and get rid of this counter. Yep. Four to to that do big four guy. here, which will kill him. He's a victory. Yep. So we're going to put him in our victory pile. And I will murder. Correct. Draw so first correct. thing that happens is this is response after you deal excess damage. So I'm dealing excess damage. So I'm going to draw the card first. Yep. Then I have a response to him dying, which is going to be chase them down. So I'm going to remove two. Yeah, all those responses, you can choose what order they take. No, you can't, because this response is after your hero attacks and defeats an enemy. This is after you deal excess damage. So oh, deal I the see. excess damage response yep. first. Then this is the enemy is now defeated. Correct. Because you deal the excess damage before they're defeated. Correct. 100%. You so there's that. Then I've got this home slice over here. I got a couple ways to deal with it. I think this is probably the better way, as much as I would like to get an ally into play. I mean, you still have Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, and what, I have two allies that both have one health. Yeah. Box. So what I'm going to do is so. I'm going to discard looking for trouble. And I'm going to play Reload, okay. which is going to ready each tech. So ready both of these. Okay. Then I'm going to use this tech. Yep. And don't really care about drawing another card, I don't think. Oh, my God. Twice? It's twice. In one turn. This is Four ridiculous. Four kill this guy. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to think right now. I know. <laughs> and then I'm going to discard Valkyrie to play Thruster Boots. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thwart for three. Thwart for three. Good to me. Okay. And then I still have Spider-Man, which I'm just going to punch yeah. for two. Seems good. All right. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to the helicopter. Both of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll hold on both cards, I guess. Mm -hmm. Since well, I have the strength, I think I'll hold on to the helicopter. I agree. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, <sighs> boy. Oh, lordy. We, we might be uh, flipping next turn to Tinker. Yeah. I don't think there's a Lockjaw on my discard pile. 
Oh boy, there's not. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're definitely gonna be uh, tinkering okay. next turn. Yeah, so you'll want to take a chunk of damage. Yep. Alrighty. So first thing is threat. So drop back on here. Yep. Threat. Then he's attacking you. Correct. And I think we just let Go ahead, one JJ. of these allies take it. Yep. Zero. Then he's attacking me. Yep. And I'm gonna face roll it. Okay. Two. One. So I'm taking three. Okay, that's perfect. Bad cards? Yep. Shadows. Can't do anything about it. Yep. All right, so that's get your stuff. Yep. So Fernax, oh boy. Mm -hmm. This guy's annoying. Yes, he is. He's engaged with me, then Blazing Inferno gets put into play. I got which... space over here. Yep, that's fine. This card sucks, too. After yeah. the villain phase begins, deal two into dragon. All right, yeah. so that's going to put six on it. And then there's three copies of this fan of the flames that are shuffled into the deck. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Then my card. Attached to your identity? Oh, obedience, the obedience poison. Potion. Yeah. Gets minus one of each stat. Yeah. Take one damage and spend two science to discard this card. Ugh. Any player can do that, though, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. But you might just do it anyway because you have anyways, so many so, extra yeah. resources. So this is attached. To you, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Pass the button. Uh, yeah, because those were encounter cards. Right? They were. No, no. Yeah, those were the encounter cards. Yeah, they were. All right. All right. My turn. Okay, so. I only have one restricted card. So I think I discard a battery pack to play a second restricted card, which will be Rocket's Pistol. Okay. It has three tokens on it. Yep. I'm just going to use one right away to deal two damage to Fernax. Yes, please. Okay. That means I can kill him. And then... I'm going to flip. Actually, before I flip, I'm going to draw a card. Yep. We remove five threat. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to flip. I'm going to tinker away my battery pack. Before you flip, did you want to remove your potion? Oh, because that's zero a, action. I didn't only. realize that's zero. Yes. Yeah. So before I flip, yeah. I am going to science take one indirect damage and yeah. sign science, and I actually have a genius. Yeah. So yes, we're going to get rid of this. Good yeah. call. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Because I'm not going to do I'm going to perfectly play out my hand. So. All right. And then um, now that I'm flipped, I'm tinkering away. Yep. I'm going to draw two cards. One, two. That was sad. That was really disappointing. So... It is what it is, and I can only tinker once per turn, so yeah. I actually can't do anything else other than recover five damage. Mm -hmm. Two, four, three. three, or five. So I'm one shy because of that indirect, but that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Done. Got it. Um, yeah, done. Mm -hmm. Let's hold on. Do we want... Do, are we going to get rid of this? Nope. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to kill this guy. All right. You got it. The best thing I can do. Well, um, I was going to just ask because I do have Spider-Man here. So Spider-Man could punch that guy for two and then you could hero action punch him and kill him. I mean, that that's fine. Um, but I, the most sword I can do is three. Right. So it's not possible. Yes. Okay. Is this the my crisis interdiction is main scheme only? Right. So. So I can't clear that side scheme. Yeah, even with, even with two, and three is five. You'd be one short. Miles would have to support instead of. But then you couldn't kill him. Correct. Well, no, I can kill him because my flora and fauna. Oh. oh no, because I would need to support. Yes. And you can't play flora and fauna because I flipped. Oh, well, it's zero action. I can play that before you flip. I didn't realize. Oh, you're right. There's that's one of those cards, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Flora and Fauna will not be played. Well, I was gonna perfectly play my turn. Now I can't. Sad face. Um. So my question is: Do 
we want me to kill Miles Morales to help you kill that guy. Since you can't floor and fauna. I think so. I think that's the plan. All right. So I'll punch with Miles, which is going to kill him. Now it's your turn. Okay. So we're going to... The whole technicality on flora and fauna. Yeah. Yes. Which we just discovered, I think, the last Recently. within the last couple of days that... Yeah. Uh, we were just kind of rereading the rules. And it's, yeah, the little parentheses that say they have to be heroes. It doesn't yes. matter the Rock and Gruta and the Alter Ego. Yep. All right, so we're going to discard strength, and Chris is averted to play a helicarrier. Sure. Then... And you can just hold on to the floor and fought on use yeah. the helicarrier. You don't actually. I yeah. can use either one of these to yeah. just play this, so it's fine. So we'll just do this. Those are the attacking spikes. And then we just a basic attack in the old fashioned way, kill him. That's it. Say love you. Mm hmm. All right. And then for me, I almost don't even want to discard these cards in case I don't get stuff to play. So I'm just going to hold on to yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Because once you flip, you can use it. Yeah. So. All right. So thread it is. So two on. Yep. Then he is attacking, he's scheming, scheming against me for base two. Mm -hmm. And the flames, just one. So, so three threat. Yep. Okay. Which I'm glad that that came out as a scheming goof. Mm -hmm. All right, then he is attacking me, and I'm just going to let Colson jump in front of it. Mm -hmm. Boost. Uh, collector gets tough. Okay, I got tough. All right, I got Bye, Colson. Thank you for your service. Bad cards. And bad cards. Go ahead. Um, insight one. Okay. When revealed, you are confused. If you're already confused, Possible bad things geometry. happen. Yep. All right. So I'm confused. Yep. Second one. Magical teapot. The player who defeats this scheme heals four damage. What did he do? All right. Hazard. I can put that on over here. I've got, I think. Uh, huh? So that is hinder two plus three, so seven. Okay. And of course, there's no minions yet. Well, what's this card? Yeah, I got to do my. Oh. All right, so you're going to get rid of that and flip. Yep. Sounds fine. So there are no minions, so sadly. I I'm glad I kept this looking. Oh, well, but for you trouble. can. Yeah, I was gonna say you can do the trouble. Yep. So you're good. Okay. So, my. So did you take this? No, we're passing. No, we're passing. Okay. All right. So we're going to do furl ground to get a counter card. Yeah, it's almost impossible. Oh, perfect timing for that. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Then we're gonna get two more. Oh, and a Spider-Man? counters. Oh, I sure hope you're going to play Spider-Man. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I guess before I flip and figure that out. So uh, I'd like to be able to play the lay down the law. I mean, you can have my helicarrier. Done. Uh, well, I want to do the blue, though, because it removes extra threat. So we could do that. And then we could do one, two, three, four, five for Spider-Man. Or you could hold on to the floor on fine. Or I could hold on to the floor on fine and, and use your money. helicarrier. That's fine. Um, okay, so then we'll flip. We'll do lay down the law for four. Okay. I think we do it from here. Okay. Knock this down to two. Sure. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Because in Spider-Man, when you play him, he can finish this off. Well, but he just removes six from but a side scheme. But he thwarts from two. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like he can just then thwart. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we'll use Genius for Justice and both Helicarriers to play Spider-Man. When he comes into play, remove three threat per person from a side scheme, so we can fix off this that. off. Yeah. Then he can thwart for two and clear that. Mm -hmm. Thwart for two and clear this. Yep. 
clear that out of there. Yep. And holding on to this, and I'm done. Okay. All right, so my turn. Yes. So I have going to. I have no battery packs. So I'm definitely going to tinker this away to draw two cards. One. Oh, I got my own flora and fauna. Too bad. Mm. Okay. Then we're going to flip. Mm -hmm. We are going to play um, Looking for Trouble, which is going to discard cards from the top of the incarnate until I get a minion. There you go. Um, Sorry. I don't yeah, think we could just, do that again if we yeah. tried. <laughs> so this is going to come into play. It's going to remove my Confuse, so I won't remove the three threats. Oh, the Looking for Trouble. Okay. Correct. Yep. Then... We are going to, I don't see any reason not to just play this. Yeah, it's fine. And we'll exhaust it to deal one and one. Correct. Then, I think we discard Lockjaw, or don't we? No. Lockjaw? <laughs> I don't know. I think what I want to do is just discard Salvage to play Relentless Assault. Oh, that makes sense. So we're going to do um, two, there. two here, three on the boss. And we're going to put my good cannon that I lost on top of my deck sure. with the Salvage. Particle cannon? Yep. Uh, you do murder that guy, so you draw it. Correct. And then we're going to discard Energy and Lockjaw mm -hmm. to play my cannon. Nice. One, two. And there's um, exactly four on him. Four on him. So yeah. let's wipe him out. Yep. So he'll, we move three threat per person. So yank six off. Mm -hmm. And then he flips. So he's weaker for the next phase. Yep. And I, unfortunately, I can't um, deal him any damage, which is fine. Thwarting for two here is okay, but I'd rather just yeah, get rid, get rid of, of that. Yeah, get rid of the hazard. Um, when defeated, the player who defeated this scheme may heal four damage from their identity. One. I mean, I'm full, so yeah. it was irrelevant for either of us, essentially. And then I'm actually holding on to a and, uh, flora and fauna This as is well. a victory card, so yeah. set that aside. Oh, so i got to remove this card. Oh, and then I might... Oh, no. Not worth punching him. No. Nah. All right. Yeah, he has infinite health with these here, so essentially any... There's no point in dealing him any damage oh. whatsoever on that side. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have one card left, which means next turn might be a good turn to flip and take one of these. Yep. Okay. I don't know if you want to take one of these, because then you'll have three cards, but maybe. Yeah. But if you're going to have three cards, the good time to have it is, is when, you're, when you're on your alter ego side. Agreed. Okay. First thing is threat. Drop two on there. Then he is attacking me. And I think I just take it because with all these flora faunas, like I'm already at eight. So um, yeah. I think I just let him take get, get in some of that damage. Right. Or, you, or the thing is you could defend because you're going to flora fauna. I'm just thinking it'd be nice to be able to get like, but you chew could through spend some of these. these counters here and get something out of it. I guess that's true. He's also not really attacking because he's zero. So it's just whatever this card oh, is. Oh, sure. Okay. So, yeah. All right. I see so, I mean. All right. So you lose that counter. Yeah. He's attacking you. And I just face roll it. Zero. He does nothing. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Bad card. He doesn't get the plus one for the scheme, though, right? Huh? Nope. No, it's gone on this it's side. It's gone on this side. Okay. Yeah. Bad card for me. Uh, the poison. Yeah, Rogue Gimlin. This is... This game is awesome. This is honestly the best game we've played, like, new game since, tw since it came out in 2019. Yeah. Like, we've, and we play a lot of games... But we are mass, and if you're a fan of um, like the 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 IP Marvel, 
This is the best Marvel game I've ever played. Agreed. And I've played a, quite a few good ones. You know, we like Dice Masters. We've liked Versus. Um, even, I, Legendary's cool. It's, deck builders aren't our big thing, but Legendary's fun. This is the best. Yeah. The, it, just the sheer down. replayability is it's crazy. absolutely insane. As much as we've played, I don't know how I've not gotten sick of this yeah. game. And you'll catch on to what we're doing pretty quick. We yeah. actually talk through everything that we're doing yep. on our turn. So you'll pick it up a little bit. Um, all right, so I got the stupid poison card. Okay. Which is awful. Right. And then I got the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, oh, when you defeat this card, um, draw two cards. Nice. So this is another seven. Yep. Ender two plus three. Yep. So yeah, so I'll, I, I could put this. This is a uh, this is a scheme, and basically. Um, it has thread on it like the main scheme, except the difference is um, this card has a bad symbol on it. So unless we get rid of it, it's gonna it's gonna increase his damage or his threat, his scheming. And but when we defeat it, there's a bonus. So and you defeat it by removing all of the threat counters. Yep. So this one has starts with three threat, and then it's two additional per player, so seven total. All right, so I just grabbed this to start my turn. Unfortunately, this poison's going to go off. Yeah, so force interrupt. Token. Yeah. When your turn begins, place a poison counter here, then take one damage for each poison counter. Throw action, spend three resources of different types to discard this card. Super annoying. Mm -hmm. So damage, damage. Yep. Then... Bad. The only way I can get rid of this is by discarding my flora fauna. Yeah, I don't. Ha I have a flora fauna that you can use though, so. So that might just be the play instead. Yeah. Otherwise, um, it gets damages you every turn, right? Yes. Yeah, that's so annoying. Correct. So we will discard the fist resource. Lightning bolt resource, then my flora fauna, which counts the green, counts as a wild resource or resource of any color. So I'll oh, have it count. Or it's also, blue. we forgot. Oh, yeah, he does flip. We and, flip him over and reset his health. And reset his health. Yeah. So I get rid of this. Then there's nothing, no minions in play for me to attack or anything. So. I suppose... His health is what? 16? Yes. It, that's, it, yeah, it's all those counters. Yep. <clears throat> all right. I suppose... I'm trying to think if I actually want to flip right now. I mean... Or if... I want to... You could spend a vine. Yeah. Hunt or thwart. Then I could play Flora Fauna. Yeah. Ready you. Yeah. You could punch or thwart. Mm -hmm. Then you could flip. Yeah. I think that's fine. So maybe I use these to so play a root I can stamp. I can clear this. All by itself with I've got a plan. Oh, okay. So I could do that all by myself with I got a plan because it's seven. Yeah, but you can't. So that's fine. So I don't need to do these other things at the moment. That is kind of what that is. Right. Um. So I. See although you, I do need to choose if I'm going to flip. You're going to flip. So well, then I need to play my hero X. So I think I just tap these just to just root stomp him for five. Okay, it's fine. And then... Spend a counter and punch him. Yeah, spend a counter. To use my attacking vines, or should I use my, th my thwarting vines? You're going to use them both, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so use my attacking vines. Punch him for to four. To punch him for four. Okay. And then you're going to do Flora Fauna. Then I'm going to play Flora Fauna. I'm going to... To do that first, I'm going to play... Mm -hmm. Take the fight to them. I'm going to look at the top four. Sure. So discard any number of these, put the rest on top or on bottom in any order, and then he... Okay. 
So I think I'd rather this guy come into play as a boost. Yes, because that's It's the... way better than getting confused. Well, as a... It's just taking two damage or two schemes. So yeah. So we'll decide who is going to do it. I think we'll do it as damage. Okay. So, I would, and so then it'll be you. It, we would want this as the second card. Okay. Uh, this is just a boost. All it does is give... Yeah, so this we definitely want as a boost card. All it does is give him a tough status. If that's a boost card. Oh, but that we want as a boost card more than that. No, this we just... Oh, discard. Goodbye. Right. And this is take two under direct damage. If Blade in front of take one additional. It's just going to be two. Yeah, so let's, we can keep that. Okay. So we're going to put these back on top. All right. Then I get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I will discard Rocket Raccoon's Pistol and... Play Flora and Fauna on you. Yep. So I'm ready. Get two counters. And then... Um, spend one? Yeah, spend one. And thwart for three. Thwart for three. Okay. And I say just go... No, I'm clearing this. So I say just go here. Oh. Um, okay. Is there, because I can, if I'm going to remove five from the main, you don't need to. Flip. You don't need to. Okay, so I don't, you don't want me to take an extra card? You're going to take an extra card because you're running out of deck. I understand, but. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you need to. All right. Then flipping. It's fertile ground. Draw. Which. I can just skip, it's fine. Um, yes. Actually, or I could just hold on to it. You just Use your helicarrier. Go for it. Okay. Spider-Man. And then did you use your thing to get two counters? Not yet. Spider-Man? Yeah. Four for two. Um, yeah. Just go here, I guess. All right. All right. I'm out. My turn. Um, I'm just going to deal one damage to the, to the boss. And... I will I think I'm gonna discard brawn. Sure. Play I've got a plan. So what I'm doing actually is I'm gonna thwart for three. Yep. Here. Mm -hmm. So move put that. Yep. As an interrupt, I'm gonna discard endurance. Yep. Play I've got a plan. Which readies Rocket. Which readies Rocket. And then he gets plus one Thwart for the rest of the turn. So he's going to get four. This card, and then Thwart for four. Yep. The victory, this so it gets set aside. This is victory, and it has a one defeated, where I get to draw two cards. One. Two. And I can't play either of them. Dead face. Yeah, I, I got greedy. <laughs> I wanted to keep the ally over the Endurance, but I guess I should have kept the Endurance, because I could have played it. But... Say la vie. Okay. Um, we will remove deal two. And then we will cannon him for four. Sure. And All right. So that'll push the threat for the scheme. Or we could wait. I think you wait. I think we wait, actually. Yeah. We're going to wait. We're not going to cannon yeah. him for four. Because we're going to wait till he puts more threat here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll cannon him for four and clear it. Yeah. I think that's I, the smart play. I agree. All right. So ready and draw. <sighs> yep. Oh, boy. So I know we're going to have a sweet minion to beat up on. I'm not going to discard anything. Draw. Oh, man. Okay. So threat. Threat. Is this, three. is this just still the first one? Yeah. Oh, we haven't pushed them yet? Nope. All right. We will this next turn. All right. Because I have a bajillion thwarting cards. Yeah. Um, all right. So he's scheming against me. So base. Oh. 
Oh, off. sorry. So base two. That was that guy. So it's just scheming for two, oh, yeah. and then that guy's scheming two for two, so it'll be a four total. Yeah. All right, so three, and then four. Yep. Okay. Attacking you. Taking it. Uh, three. Three. Yep. Okay. Bad card. Bad card. Yeah, we threw off our math because I took a card when I ran out of deck. I threw off our setup for the top of the deck. I love you. All right, so the I have you now uh, on alter ego, exhaust your identity, and then he schemes. that up uh so scheme base two plus two so four he's scheming for four yep and then the vandarian power band attaches to the enemy with the lowest scheme which unfortunately and it requires three lightning nope. bolts oh, to remove. yeah yeah it is yep. okay. which i could actually probably uh take two indirect damage yeah. I could probably get rid of it. Okay. All right. Okay. That is it. All righty. So pass the button. Good. All right, all right. So I think we are simply just... What are we doing? <coughs> Excuse me. So are you going to clear all this off? Do you need help? What's what's the plan? If I'm getting rid of this, I'll need help. To get rid of that is... Three lightning bolts. Oh, that's brutal. Which... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, because I have the energy, it's more feasible for me. Yeah. Okay. It just means I'm not going to be able to play all of my... Cards. Cards. Right. You got my helicarrier. You got your helicarrier. Okay. Yeah. So I could just use helicarriers for these to throw right. for six. So I think what close, I'm going to do then no is sooner. I'm going to ditch my mansion. I'll ditch Brawn. So yeah, first things first. Let's deal one damage to the boss and one damage to that minion. We'll ditch Brawn. We'll ditch Avengers Mansion, <clears throat> and sadly, we'll ditch Nick Fury, because I won't be able to play him. And we're going to play Into the Fray, which oh, is going to deal six damage, Yep. Um, and have some triggers. Yep. So, so it's he has do three, three remaining hit points, so yep. it's going to remove three threat. <clears throat> yep. I defeated a minion with excess damage, so I'm going to draw a card. Um, I'm going to hmm. this is going away. Then what are these cards? Lose it by hand. You got the flora fauna again? This was yeah, when I just reshuffled my Wow, deck. okay. So I think what I'm gonna do, I am gonna use my helicarrier. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is then I'm going to use my particle cannon okay. to deal the boss four damage. Sure. I'm just going to flip them. Yep. So then you can remove six. Right. So that just leaves two on them. Yep. And then I'm going to <clears throat> use my helicarrier to play flora and fauna. It's actually just going to put two counters on my... Oh, and you're gonna use it on yourself. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use them myself for once. That's fine. And ready my cannon. Okay. Then I am going to um punch the boss. Oh there's no point. There's no point. <clears throat> uh -oh. Yeah, there's legit no point. Okay. Then I am going to flip. Exhaust to recover. Five. Two. Four. 
five. Mm -hmm. And I will pass the turn. So uh, I got get my max counters here. Yep. Then still draw a card. <clears throat> and flip. When I flip, I will. So I guess the question is. Do you have the thing to ready yourself? Yes. Wait. So the question is, do I want to do two? I think lay you could just thwart and get rid of this thing. This is like a sweet time. <clears throat> right. So. But that. So. The problem is I can't clear this. You have two Leyland of the Lost. Right, but I don't have enough blue resources. You, it's, it's a combination of seven. You only need one. I understand. The only blue resources that I have are the Lay Down the Laws. Okay, so you, 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 you spend one Lay Down the Law for three. Thwart. And then you use the other Lay Down the Law to play a Ford Justice for four. That's seven. Oh, that's just slightly less efficient. It is a deficient. It is. It's perfectly efficient because it gets rid of seven. Um, it just means I'm not going to use. My you can't roost stomp, which is no big deal. Oh, it just means I'm not using any. I have any of these cards for the turn, but it's fine. So we can discard a root stomp to play the lay down the law for three, mm -hmm. and then discard lay down the law and another root stomp to for justice. Correct. That's so seven. it just clears that whole thing. Um, deal one damage to each player when okay. defeated. Indirect, card? indirect damage or just one damage. <clears throat> then we'll discard these three to this. Get rid of that. Spider Man can port for two and we can push it. Exactly. All right. So when you push this, it goes to side 2A. 2A. When revealed, put the set aside Milano support from the ship command center into play under the first player's control. Force interrupt. When the last thread is removed from this scheme, advance to stage 3A. So, yep. and it gets 11 threat per player. <laughs> so, it's going to have 22 to start. Yep. <clears throat> oh, did we forget to. Oh no, we no, just we did flipped that. Him. Okay, we just sorry. Did that. Yep, yep, you're totally right. My bad. 15, 18, 21, 22. Okay. Okay. I could ready and do some stuff. No, I mean, you got a full deck. Maybe <clears throat> just hold on to it now. Yeah, I agree. So that's it. All right. Ready. We have more resources than we need right now. Unfortunately. It happens. Yep. But we're doing really well, so. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, apparently I shuffled badly. Well, you always <laughs> shuffle badly. It shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> uh, okay. You have, have a good turn next turn. I mean, yes and no. You're going to play at least two of those. I suppose. So that would okay. be amazing. Then threat. Threat it is, <clears throat> so we're going to add... Oh, we're almost out of we're that We're almost deck. out. We're not there All yet. Right. And he's scheming against you. So base zero. It's yep. just whatever the card is. Oh, it's a three or... So four. Rude. Okay. So <clears throat> four. He's attacking me. I'm going to have Spider-Man defend it. He's got one left. Oh, of course. Now we get the... So, hey, he doesn't die. Look at that. Hilarious. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's fun. Yeah. Did you put four on there or three? Four. It's only three. Back cards. Now we accelerate. Okay. Shuffling. No. We just had a discussion <laughs> on camera. Fair enough. Worst shuffler ever. All right. So do your card. 
<clears throat> yeah, my card is oh, advance. advance. Yeesh. I mean, it's 30. Okay. I lose it though. No, we're not. 15 plus 12 20, 20 is something. 27 of 30? 15. Plus 12. 27 of 30. Yeah. There's yeah. a chance we lose right now. Well, that would be pretty insane. Yeah. Unless we. If this stage is completed, the players lose. Because it starts with it starts 11 with per person. 22? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's how. Okay. That's how. Right. So if that's a three, we lose. Haha, -ha, it's not. Oh, actually, that's my card. Because I need a card. So. It's a one. Not a three, thank God. Give okay. the villain a tough status. Fine. Then I get this guy. All right. Well, at so least one of those advances is going. Yeah. All right. All right. Yep. My turn. So, I think I want to attack and use one of these vines since thwart I have and flora use fauna. You want me to thwart instead? Oh, we got to put all this th back. Oh yeah. Yes. You're definitely going to thwart because um, he's so he's high. tough and he's full health. <clears throat> okay. Well, I have a, a patrol guy, though, so I can't... Oh, so you could just punch that guy for That's three. what I was going to do. Or actually. let me do it, because... But you can't. You're on alter ego. Yep, yeah, so you're going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. So I'm going to attack him with vines. Yep, for three. And it's technically four, so extra damage, fine. No, Nobody cares. So that guy goes. Then we use my helicarrier... To play Flora Fauna, yeah. which is going to ready me and get me two counters. Place, place that with go the back to full. Yep. <clears throat> then. I mean, I am grouped for 10. The uh, thwarting one the first, thwarting I ones. think. The one. Plus this is two. two no, no, no. Don't, dis no, no, no. don't discard one of these. We've got extra resources. Okay. Oh, technically this. Yep. So, Which you could use that first? No, this is better to use. Yeah, you helicarriers are better. So uh, one plus helicarrier, helicarrier. Oh, no. Helica helicarrier, depth focus to I am group for 10 thwart. Yes. <clears throat> then I can hold the this to do a damage one. Best I can do. He's tough. I know. That's yeah, what I'm saying. We'll if you can go on your turn and remove his tap, then I can hit him for 10. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. So, so. I will do this as your turn, or in, uh, your action. Oh, right. We got to take my turn first. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. fine. So it's so my turn. Holding. <coughs> See, so thanks. I don't <laughs> actually have a problem losing this counter, so I'm going to tinker this away. Other than it just deals him two damage. Just, well, I guess you're a heavy cannon. We'll... And I'm going to draw two. <clears throat> then we're flipping. We're going to deal the villain one damage. Being his tough. Um, <clears throat> gonna... Oh, I guess I forgot to just even do a basic attack. Yeah. On top of that. Yeah. No, you could, yeah, you could have done that because I can do this on your turn. Oh no, I couldn't have. Yeah, you, I need to thwart yeah, instead. You thwart. Yeah, thwart, thwart for one. One. Fine. Yeah, because he, he was tough. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Sorry. Still worth me doing a basic action. Yeah. All right, so now it's my turn. And. Now I can do this, I guess. So use Milano and discard the thwarting I am Groot to do the angry I am Groot and deal him 10 damage. Perfect. So two, four, six, eight. Loving it. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to discard copy of Relentless Assault to play, well, not yet. I'm going to thwart for three. Yep. And play I've Got a Plan by discarding Relentless Assault. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to ready. Yep. Did you remove the three? I just did. Okay. Then 
I might as well thwart for four. <clears throat> then we can calculate the odds. It's kind of not worth doing anything, so we're just going to play a pistol. There's three counters on it. We will <clears throat> cannon the boss for four, and then pistol the boss for two. Nice. So remove six. Yep. All right. Went from almost losing it to going down to four. Yeah, just smashing <laughs> this guy. Well, I am grouped for 10 damage, and 10 thwart is uh, not a bad turn. <clears throat> that sounds okay. Yeah. And then we're going to salvage, putting what on top? Actually, just a pistol, I guess. Okay. Actually, no. We're not even going to play the salvage. We'll hold on to it. We're just going to discard an energy to play my cybernetic skeleton, which just gets me three hit points. Yep. Two. <clears throat> two. Three. And then we're just going to hold on to these two cards. Sure. That's it. Ready. Draw. One, two, three. Threat. So he's getting three <clears throat> now. Yep. And he is attacking, attacking you. Yep. For base zero. For base zero, and I am you have, just gonna let him do yeah, it. Yeah, all your iron groups are in the disc. Three out of the four. Three out of the four in my discard pile, so I'm just gonna let him do it. Yep. Zero. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're attacking me? Yeah. I'll take it. Three. Okay. Two and three. <clears throat> Bad cards. I have you now. Uh, you are stunned, and the collector attacks you. Okay. Fine. Zero again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, the villain okay, attacks yeah. you. Okay. Zero. One. Okay. Yeah, flipping him is good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'll flip him back and get this ready. You're up. Yep. All right. So let's start with a heavy cannon. Deal the boss one. Then we'll rock it. So we're going to hit him for six with our boys. We will. All the heroes is sadly not. Yeah, not worth very it. good at this point. Discard that to play a battery pack, which we're gonna get two counters and we're gonna put one here. Okay. Then we're gonna discard a rocket launcher to play reload to ready these. And let's we'll hit the boss for six more. And put this here. Yep. And we can punch the boss for two or thwart for three. I would thwart. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, okay. It's fine. I thwart. And then I'm I've got one card in my hand that I can't use because I don't think there's a lockjaw in the, my discard pile. There is not a lockjaw. Okay, I might be able to use your stuff. Go for it. <clears throat> All right. We'll use a deaf focus to get my last vine in play. We will attack to remove my stun. We will use my readying vines. Yeah. To ready. Mm -hmm. 
be able to play fruition to get those right back. Gross. We will um, do a contingency plan. So this is the one where I reveal the top four cards of my deck and for every different resource type I deal damage. So one, two, three, look at that, four. Oh, I hit four again. Yeah, That's well, crazy. All right, so it's still, gonna it's still just going to flip them. So this is going to come off. <clears throat> and then we clear all of that threat. Which is going to advance it. Yep, I draw a card. So, um, 3A. When revealed, flip the library labyrinth. Place one acceleration token on the main scheme. Shuffle the remaining cards from the set-aside command chip into the encounter deck. All right, so... So now when the villain starts his turn... He deals us a bunch of indirect damage. Also, however, we can now exhaust the Milano for um, the ability to remove three threat from the main screen. And this one is going to start with eight player players, so 16. <clears throat> All right. So with that said... But it only has 24 threshold. All right. So with that said, we still have... Your helicarrier, my helicarrier. And a... Uh, yeah, but we could now use that to remove threat. Yep. Potentially. Oh, yeah. So, so I'm just going to see if I need it, essentially. So I'm thinking that... So I could do helicarrier, helicarrier... To, to play what? Heroic discard this. Well, I'm just thinking I could discard this and just play JJ. I'd rather you discard the root stomp. You can't hit him with it. This turn. I or you could just play the heroic intuition, which is probably the better play. Um, sure. Just because you can then thwart. Because we almost lost last time because of the threat that came on right away. Yeah. So maybe just. Putting that on you. <clears throat> putting the heroic intuition on yourself. Thwarting for two with Groot is not bad, because then you could also remove a counter and thwart for additional two, so it'd be four. Okay. Go for it. All right, so Helicarrier, Helicarrier for that? Yeah. Hmm. And then I think we just exhaust Milano to remove the threat. I agree. Yep. And I could spend just... A yeah, spend a counter and thwart for four, for four right yeah. now. one. Two, three, four. Yep. So remove this, put a one. That gives you a lot of juicy breathing room. Yeah. And then I guess I can... Eh, I don't know that I need JJ. You She's not going to do a lot her. right now. We've gone through most yep. of the victory side schemes. So. Agreed. All right. Ready? Draw up. I should have flipped last turn, but that's okay. I'll flip next turn. There's my last time, Groot. <clears throat> okay. So, first thing is now we have to either exhaust the Milano and assign a total of two indirect damage per player among players, meaning one of us can suffer more of that yeah. damage than another. Or we do three per player among players. So it's take six indirect amongst us or just, four indirect damage amongst yeah. us and exhaust this. I say we could have just exhaust this. <clears throat> We're going to win. That's fine. Exhaust that. And then do indirect. you want to take the four damage if you're going to flip anyway? Because Spider-Man could block for you, worst case. Or maybe you take the three and I just take one. I, I think that might be the play. Just because I have an I am Groot. Yep. <clears throat> okay. And then he is... Did we put threat on there for the beginning of the turn yet? I don't think we did. We're supposed to add three. So. Four, because there's two failures. Four. Okay, so put a five, take off one. Yep, correct. Okay. All right, so then he's attacking you. And yep. it's just the zero. Yep. But the plus three. I knew that was going to happen. No. Well, fine. That's why we uh, made sure you didn't. Why we did it the way we did it. <clears throat> then he is attacking me. 
And you can't defend because if there's an attack card, you need to defend for me. Right. Well, I'm thinking. Nope. Okay. That's fine. I'll just let it go. One. Okay. Bad cards. Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah. One for me. Go ahead. The villain attacks me. Okay. So Spider Man. Spider Man. Zero. He lives. <laughs> Hilarious. That's happened twice. Yeah. My card, villain schemes. All right, so zero plus two. Or total of two. <clears throat> that is that. Okay. So pass this over here. Yep. And what are we going to do? Nobody's stunned or anything, so I guess we'll just use this to cycle a card. The worst version of that. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I guess we'll do sure gamble to reduce the next thing by three. It's still probably fine to just do my I am group for. Well, yeah, we have to flip him back. Yes. <clears throat> still worth just hitting him for seven, I think. Sorry, we keep forgetting about this part. After the round, we have to flip stop, him back. Stop, I'm dealing with <clears throat> okay. Then, honestly, let's just exhaust this, discard this to do root stomp to hit him for another five. Agree. One, that, and punch him. Great. Yeah, right. Um, I could even do my vines. Go for it. Flip him right now. Yeah. So we'll spend a vine to hit him for four. Yeah. And flip them again. So remove six threat. <clears throat> okay. And be done. Mm -hmm. You have a helicarrier available if you would like it. Okay. You can see where we set our strategy of j sometimes just dealing him damage is just as good, if not better, than thwarting because you remove. Right. Chunks. I off think the I'm just schemes. gonna go for the win here. <clears throat> go for it. So we're gonna play looking for trouble, which is gonna let me look for a minion. Okay. So that guy's gonna hit you though. <laughs> Did you just lose this game for us right now? Wow. Yeah. I did. No! Because you, you're exhausted. I'm exhausted. I and guess can I... exhausted. Well, hang on. Can I... Hero response. I could remove... So hero response I can do at any time? Nope, I can't because it's after he uses a basic power specific. Um, yeah. Wow. You screwed the pooch. I forgot that this guy was in the deck. <clears throat> I could have stopped it, too. Weren't you on... Oh, no, you weren't on your altar. You guys... <clears throat> yeah. You screwed the pooch. Wow. So why don't you just take that play back so we don't just lose? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I think you're going to win on this turn if you just don't do stupid stuff. Well, I was going to throw this into play first anyways, just to thwart for one. To, you know what I mean? Well, you were going to wait until you played a minion to then stun and confuse it. That was going to be your yeah. plan. Yeah. But what you should have done is play the thing what first. I should have done, what I should have done is made you use your thing before I did that in case we drew this guy. Because I forgot that guy was in there. Yes. That would have worked too. Yeah. Yes. Either way, but yes, there is quick strike guys in there. I forgot all about it too. Yeah. So, just play Spider-Girl first. <laughs> so we don't just scoop. Fine. Just be... <laughs> wow. Or pl 
play. I can say that I did my vines to be able to. I mean, I don't play. I'll play Spider Girl first. I was gonna play the card. I'll just play her first. I agree. You and were gonna do it the right. The he'll better come way, into but... play and he'll quick strike, and I'll just um, defend with her. Defend with her. Kill her. Yeah. Um. Then. Remove three threat in that part. Remove three threat. Correct. Then I was just going to... Thwart for three? Thwart for three, and then thwart for four. With I've got a plan. Okay. So, yeah, that thwarts for a total of seven. So, yes, that yeah. would have cleared it. So, yes, you just needed to not... <laughs> I needed to not hit a quick strike. Yes. Well, you needed to think about that in your head yeah. first is really what It is getting to. late. Yeah. So, uh, if there's no threat here, the players win the game. Yeah. So... Technically, we, we would have lost because I misplayed. Yes, but, but we're not going to play this game again. Yeah, not when we literally just <laughs> we were smoking him. <laughs> but need to be careful. There are quick strike guys. Yeah. So before we pack things up too much, let's just check where we're at here. So as far as victory points. Candy log ready over here. So apparently my pen is MIA, so later. Um, all right, so everybody just gets one right off the bat. Record a number of units for each player to a maximum of three equal to the victory values on, and counter cards in the victory display, which I know we did the challenge and defeated the headhunter, so we get three. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for every two galactic artifacts side schemes in the victory display, record one unit per player. Three. Okay, so we get one, because it's for every two. Record the title of each galactic artifact side scheme in the victory display. So I guess you can display those out. We'll put those in our log. If the Badoon Headhunter is in the victory display, mark the box, which she is. And that's that. So we get an extra five units per player, which we will spend off camera and then show you guys next week, Friday, what we spent. Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, we did... Quite good. Aside from you forgetting that there's quick straight guys in the game. <laughs> it was so late. I was just like, I didn't care what the well, minion you was. Were, I wasn't you even going to kill it. I right. Was just... You were just going to get it to remove three threat. And then, which is why just playing Spider Girl first is what you, what yeah. is, what would have happened because her stunning and confusing the guy didn't was mean irrelevant. It was completely, anyway. yeah. All I should have just to played do, her first. You should have just played her first. Just to be I sure. I will definitely be aware of that. <laughs> All right. So it's very, very, very tiny mini asterisks, but. Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> but it was completely avoidable if you just. Played it right. Played it right. Yeah, exactly. Which if we weren't playing on camera, I'm a lot more focused because I'm not thinking about playing on camera. Yes. It always happens that way. All right, well, the collector has been thwarted. We have escaped his collection in the Milano. And then next week, we fight Nebula. Nebula. I'm pretty happy with these decks so far for these two heroes, the Aggression and the Justice. I feel like it's a nice pairing. Yeah, we've tweaked them here and there a little yeah. bit just to kind of refine them Yeah, a you can bit. find the deck list. We'll put them in the comments when we post the... In the, the description, yep. In the, yeah, in the uh, YouTube video. Mm -hmm. They are also, um, if you go to Home Base Games on Facebook, uh, the post for this video, which is our last post, in the comments you can find links to the deck list. Yep. Which, like I said, I've, I've been very happy... Um, I bo with both characters being able to do like you saw Groot got to do I am Groot back to back for mm -hmm. ten thwart ten damage ten, ten thwart yeah and it was not really a big deal no um it didn't we didn't have trouble honestly with anything on on this yeah throwing. I mean we got close to having that scheme out once that one time we had to be a little careful when we flip when we flip you want to make sure you have something when you push to the next scheme yeah. Make sure you have a way to thwart off the just scheme. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, unless unless you're both hero. Unless then it you're both matter. hero, then it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but, but we were not both hero. Correct. So that was the... We were not both hero and we got an advance. So yeah. he was thwarting twice. Yeah. Which, that was the trick there. Um, that was really the, that and the, the stupid not paying attention to the quick strike thing. Yes. But I think uh, the strategy of just not being afraid to push the damage through on him to be able to remove threat is 
very helpful to be able to catch up <clears throat> on that a little bit. Yeah. Also, the strategy of on the library the library side when you're when you know you're flipping, taking that extra encounter card when you know you're flipping yeah. to be able to remove a little extra threat is also very. Helpful. Also, I noticed we made a mistake. There was a one or two times where we could have actually just taken an encounter card and pushed this card. Yes. Like, there was a couple times we left it with three or four on yes. there when we could have just been like, you know, take an extra encounter card and let's just get rid of this thing. Yes, and push we could have. So yes. that's something to be aware of. Don't be afraid to take the encounter card for the... Mm -hmm. Unless, like, you're in a really bad situation Correct. or something. Yeah. But yes, the best time to take encounter cards, extra ones, is when you're on Alter Ego. Because on Alter Ego, there's m m many... There are many more encounter cards that have less of an effect when you are an alter ego. Typically, yes. Typically. Yeah. Like Quick Strike. Yes. <clears throat> like Quick Strike. Yeah. All right. Well, until next week in our next battle against Nebula, thanks for joining us for Marvel Friday. And Yeah, and if you remember to like and subscribe, you will get a notification when we're playing. All right. Thanks, everybody.